the long-awaited air tags are finally here. Finally, in South Africa, we have the Apple air tags. These things have been rumored since probably about April 2019, and here we are in May 2021 with the Apple air tag finally, finally in our hands. Now, this product really excites me. It's one of uh, one of the newest products from Apple, um, and it's it's not very often that I get to unbox a brand new product. Um, so this is, well, <laughs> when I say brand new product, I mean first generation product. Um, so this is really, really exciting, and um, I'm really looking forward to unboxing it and explaining what the Apple AirTag is all about, as well as potentially doing some tests out in the field. Um, there are some exciting things lined up, and we hope that the AirTag doesn't, doesn't fail to deliver. So what is the Apple AirTag? What is it all about? This is essentially a tracking tag. This can be placed within a bag, it can be placed on key rings and other devices so that if you lose the device, you'll be able to go on to find my on your iPhone or your iPad and you'll be able to find where this tag is located. Now, how does this actually work? Well, it's really, really incredible because Inside this AirTag, there's a battery um, which powers it for up to a year and it's user changeable. Nice Apple, first time ever. That allows you to then track this item. Now, what this AirTag does is it uses all the iPhones and uh, around the world, essentially, to bounce information off, for lack of a better word. So it will communicate with any iPhone around it to let you know where your tag is. However, in saying that, it doesn't uh, doesn't notify the person that it's using the uh, that iPhone that's close by. Um, so neither you you and you never receive that information. So you'll never know which iPhone um, has been closest to this AirTag in in any sort of amount of time. If your AirTag is lost, however, and someone walks up to it with their iPhone, they are able to tap it and get your information to contact or to let you know that they've found your AirTag. So let's go on and unbox it and see what this, what the size of this AirTag is um, and how it looks in real life. So here we go. I've always said Apple's packaging is incredible and anyone who's opened an Apple package before, whether it be an iPad, an iPhone, a MacBook, Mac Mini or any, any other Apple product really, you'll know that this experience of opening the product is something truly amazing. I often say in my business studies classes, packaging tells a whole different story to just the product. Um, it adds an experience to the product. Uh, so I'm really excited to open this. This is this, one of the smallest Apple products I've ever unboxed. So here we go. These new little tabs that they've put in make it so simple to just open the boxes. And there we go. Let's see. There we go. AirTag, literature. Please comment in, in uh, the comments below whether you ever, ever read this, because I don't, never, not once. Okay, and there we have it, my goodness me. Right, so here it is, here is the AirTag. Um, I got the, the single AirTag, um, this comes in at 499 Rand. In South Africa. On launch day they disappeared pretty quickly. Um, some of the art stores still have stock but online it was unavailable later on in the day of its launch. It does also come in packs of four so you do get a four pack um, which is handy if you're needing a lot more air tags. This air tag is sure approximately the size of I'd say a five rand coin um, and if we Pull the little tab here. That is nice. Look at that. So nice and shiny. Now, when we pull this out, there's a section that's still in there that's preventing the battery from connecting. So as we pull it out, we should hear the Apple AirTag make its tone. Wow, that was 
was cool. It's a little bit softer than I expected. But look at that. Could be a little button. <laughs> You'd never know. My goodness me. Okay, so let's pair this now with our iPhone. And there we go. The AirTag comes up spinning. If you own Apple AirPods, you'll have the same sort of experience um, to pair the two. So we just hit connect there. And then you can select here what you want, what you're gonna be tracking with this item. Um, I don't think it's that important. It's just so that you can keep track of it. So I'm gonna say here, my backpack. So let's say continue. And then it'll say register your AirTag to your Apple ID. Um, so you go ahead and do that. And then it says setting up. So Ryan's backpack and it's saying, and it's busy setting up at the moment. And there we go, all set up and ready to go. So this Apple AirTag is now linked to my, uh, to my Apple ID. Um, so let's go into Find My on my phone here, so we can see, there we go, Find My. Um, and now it'll say here, Ryan's backpack, um, and it currently says with me, because obviously it is right next to me. There's a few options here. Um, you can put it into lost mode, um, you can rename the, the item, so if you now don't have it in a backpack but you've now attached it to the seat of your bicycle or something like that, um, you can change the name of this item or this tag. Um, you can turn on a notification here where, where it says notify when found, um, so obviously when it's in lost mode it'll notify you when it's found. Um, and then here you can say play sound. That's pretty impressive. Um, let's cover it. You can still hear it. Um, so I think, and I think the advantage is that it's using multiple frequencies. Um, so the first little bit that, almost like bubbles, is quite difficult to hear, but then the frequency moving into the higher frequencies um, will obviously give you, uh, it will make it easier to find. Then you can click find nearby. Now here you can see it's saying 0.6 meters away. On the iPhone 11 um, and all its variants and the iPhone 12 and all its variants, uh, you will be able to use this precision finding. Um, and when you're nearby like this, um, it doesn't show you an arrow, but as you get closer and further away, the phone vibrates more and more and more until you are here. Accuracy wise, it's pretty, pretty accurate. That's about 0.9 of a meter or a meter. Um, and and as, as you can see here now, it's saying uh, one meter behind the phone. So whichever way the phone's facing, is obviously the way the arrow points. So this would be classified as the front of the phone. And then as you get within one meter of the phone, uh, it just says nearby. Uh, you would obviously have the direction already by this point. And then as you get closer to it, it'll say here, here, when you reach your destination. Okay, so we are on our way to play um, golf with the AirTag. Um, so we, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, chip the ball with the air tag into some rough um, and see if we can find it um, using the iPhone 12 Pro. So now we're going to use the iPhone and go on to find my and try and find this tag. Um, I have a feeling that it did leave the ball. Um, so, <laughs> so we'll see if the tag's still intact and if we can find it. It's saying searching for a signal. It did connect not too long ago. Well, there we go. It says connected signal is weak 
Um, so let's, oh, well, there we go. Four, <laughs> it says we're 4.5 meters away. 3.9, well, <laughs> three meters. Can play the sound. In fact, we can hear it. And it's in this direction. So we are solidly in the bush here somewhere. 1.6. 0.9 oh. So it says we're nearby oh, In a tree here Okay, so the golf ball is found Okay, so the golf ball is over here um, As you can see the tag did come off um, We know that the tag is about 2.4 meters in this direction so let's see, 1.2 meters, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, my goodness. Hmm. Okay, so it's saying here. So it says here. Uh, oh, wow, there we go. There we go, air tag found successfully. This is amazing, a successful outing. So there we go, there's the air tag. As you can see, it hasn't been destroyed. It's got some, uh, got some dirt on it. It is um, IP67 rated, so this can go into water for a short amount of time. So that grass was incredibly thick um, and we managed to find the air tag. Um, I must be honest, when, I, when we set out to do this test, I kind of thought um, that I might be having to go and buy another air tag. However, um, obviously this thing is quite a bit more durable than, than we kind of think. Um, and we managed to find it and it is in perfect working condition. Um, so. Can you play golf with an air tag? Yes. Will it survive? Yes. Is it advisable to play with an air tag? Probably not. Maybe you just rather attach it to your golf club so that if you lose your golf club or leave your golf club behind at a green that you can find it. Cool. That's the test done for, <laughs> we did two in one there. Durability and can it be found. Thanks to my dad for um, teeing us up there and hitting the ball. I can guarantee you if I had done that, it probably would have been in the dam. Please like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me to create these videos and more like it. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you soon with another one.